reporting to the panel. The crew is ready for flight. And again, you can see in the middle there, that's the head of Roscosmos, Dmitry Rogozin. He's the one uh, on the on Oleg's left, helping Skripochi get to the pad. Traditional for uh, the different managers to help the crew members the last leg of their journey into the actual rocket itself. They'll lead them over to a stairway where the crews will get up, do one final wave, and then ride up the elevator to the top of the Soyuz booster to board their capsule, which they've actually been aboard now for about two hours. So you can see them one at a time going up the stairway. Uh, the final uh, pad integration engineers will be waiting for them at the top to make the elevator ride up. And for now, they are inside the Soyuz rocket. Be careful here. Wave your hand carefully. Turn around. And with that, we are back to a live view, getting your first view now of the Soyuz spacecraft out there on the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Auto sequence initiated. Auto sequence start, second umbilical separating, T minus 15 seconds. You can see the engine starting to fire. Second umbilical. The first stage ramping up. Engine turbo pump at flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. And liftoff. Liftoff. Oleg Skripochka, Jessica Mirhaza, Ali Almansuri leaping forth from Gagarin's start on their way to the International Space Station. First and second stage thrusters are operating just fine. Copy. Everything is fine on board the Soyuz. We're feeling great. Copy. We're going to continue to get these translations throughout the flight. Everything's still sounding good with that first stage. You can see the four strap on boosters lighting up the night sky. Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust with that first stage, the four boosters and the single core engine. You can see them punching through the cloud layer there. The first stage measures 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes of the flight. Pitch, your roll are nominal. So pitch, yaw, and roll referring to the orientation of the vehicle. Nominal, a word you'll hear a lot. That just means everything is proceeding normally. Continuing to get for good first stage uh, indicators from the Soyuz. Things looking good inside the cabin. You can see Jessica Mir at the top of your screen. Alex Kropochka at the bottom there in the commander seat. First and second stage thrusters are operating nominally. A little over a minute and a half into the flight. Everything continuing to go well with the Soyuz crew. They've already well exceeded over 1,100 miles an hour. The next things we're going to be looking for is the escape tower jettison. And then the first stage strap on boosters separating. And they're getting a great view. You can see that Corey off cross the first stage strap on boosters have separated along with that tower. Now the core engine continuing to fire. The Soyuz already at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. Nominal. Copy. Everything is nominal on board. We are feeling great. Copy. So at this point, the Soyuz traveling in excess of 3,300 miles per hour. You can see those four strap-on boosters continuing to descend. The Soyuz powered now by that core stage engine. 
160 seconds into the flight. Copy. Yes, we uh, see that the launch route jettison is also confirmed. Affirmative. The launch route protecting the Soyuz during that initial climb through the atmosphere has been jettisoned. This is actually a view from on, on the Soyuz spacecraft itself. You're looking down at one of the folded up solar arrays. And standing by for that third stage ignition. And confirmation, second stage has shut down and separated. The Soyuz now being powered by that third stage engine. Copy. GECA 2, uh, command, got off command, went through, and everything is nominal on board. Copy all. Use GECA 3. 3 command. Got out. Getting a spectacular view there. You see the third stage separate and fly away. And Zermatt, congratulations. We're handing you over to Moscow. Zermatt, Moscow. Moscow. Moscow station, 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 station. Go ahead. Go ahead, Moscow. And just like that, three new crew members now in outer space, the third stage separating, and we did get a good report that all of the solar arrays and antennas have deployed. So a spacecraft in good health now in orbit around planet Earth. Russian cosmonaut Alex Kropochka, NASA astronaut Jess Kamir, and your United Arab Emirates astronaut Hazan Ali Al-Mansuri now in outer space and beginning their chase down of the International Space Station.